Hi, welcome to this video of Automation Edge. In this video, we are going to take a look at the anti-money laundering use case, which is used in most of the leading financial and insurance organizations. First, let us take a look at what input we are giving. This is the input which we'll be submitting, which has a list of individuals or group entities. Each of these records will be checked against different sanction lists published by different governments or different legal entities. Once this is successfully processed, we'll get an output file which also will be in Excel format and it will tell us the possible fraudulent candidates. So let us go back to the catalog. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this service request and say submit. We can see that ID 145 has been assigned to our request. Let us go to requests tab. Here you can see that 145, the ID workflow name is AML which stands for anti-money laundering. It says that the execution has started. So while we are waiting for this basic use case to get completed, let me go to Process Studio and show you what this use case actually does. What you can see on your screen now is Process Studio. Here you can see that there are different steps which are going to be performed in this specific use case. The first step in this process is to go to different government or private entity websites and download the files that have list of all the sanctions. Then it will be doing various conversions and operations in Excel. After that, there will be an intermediate output and based on the intermediate output, a final output will be created. This final output will have its sorting and coloring done in this stage to give a better presentation value and finally a mail will be sent. In case there is an error, the error will be also shown in the automation age UI. So let us go back and see what is the result of our specific use case. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this to check the status. As you can see, the request with ID 145 is now complete and let us go and expand the status and download the final output. As we saw in Process Studio earlier, the file has also been sent on email to a registered account. Let me go ahead and open this Excel file now. We have now opened the final output file. Here you can see that there are different color codes here. The first column basically shows the name, second one shows Australian sanctions, then United Nations, EU, OFAC for all other entities. So basically here you can see that some are red, some are in lighter shade and there are different shades. What this means is that the records in red have been found in almost each of these sanctions list. The records in green have not been found in any of the sanction lists. The sub tabs here are actually intermediate outputs which we saw in Process Studio. To do this, you have various options like Jaro, Jaro Winkler, but we have used the pair letter similarity algorithm to achieve a much more reliable result. If you observe very closely here, we have also successfully matched with names that are in Arabic script as well. One thing that is to be noted here is that the threshold can be defined as per the need of the organization. In this case, the threshold requirement was 0.5. So anything above 0.5 was considered as a possible fraudulent candidate and these records have been presented here. So let us go back to Automation Edge UI now. As we saw here, we have completed an extremely complex use case which has various different target systems and lot of complex calculations to be done. The automation in this was achieved end to end using Automation Edge. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching.